Hi everyone, Amy Love here. I know it has been a while, but lucky for me, it is slow season at work, which means I will have more time to create. So I spent my first day off doing just that, and I'm very, very excited about how this turned out. I was actually inspired by both this image of this beautiful angel, and I am in a Facebook group where she was hosting a swap for a reverse um, shadow box canvas and so that helped me um, decide what I was going to create so I will put a link to that Facebook uh, group below it belongs to my friend Judy and uh, she ha hosts swaps in there and I was excited that I could actually participate this month and I was so inspired that I sat down uh, this morning and put this whole thing together in a day because <laughs> I just couldn't stop so I used an 8x10 canvas and just turned it around. I painted the sides using this beautiful, um, what's that called? Opal Magic. Mm, I love it in like this rose gold. I used it all over this. I used it when I painted the heart and I added some details to the image with this. And then I also um, sprinkled it all around because I just love it. So I started out by gessoing the entire uh, back side of the canvas and then in the background I used some Stamperia paper I broke into my ceremony. I just think this is such a pretty 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 uh, paper pad. So I used that paper pad for the background here and for this top um, layer under the lace right there. So I'm going to go over to that. And then on top of the paper, I put some uh, book paper that I just tore out and then I inked the edges of. And between the book paper and the scrapbook paper, I put some of that dyed cheesecloth you can get from Hobby Lobby. So I put that in there to give it a little more depth and some texture. I love it. And then on the image, I added a texture paste to the wings and some diamond dust. Don't you love the diamond dust? It's not dry. I couldn't even wait to um, film it. I do that so so often. So no, it's not dry, so it's not going to look exactly like that when it's dry. But even the paint's not dry. I just got excited. But I have to go make dinner, so I needed to get her, get her filmed. <laughs> so then I added the image, and I, I, uh, I inked the edges of the image. I have these beautiful little things in my stash, and I'm sure they were gifted to me by whom I don't remember. I love them. I don't have any more of them. I would like to get some more, though. They are precious, right? I love those little um, photo corners. And then I added these beautiful flowers from um, Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy. I'll put a link to her shop below. These are currently out, but they are on their way back in because they are beautiful. I love them so much. And then I added some pearl strands, and then I added buttons everywhere, and I added some lace, and I inked the edges of the music paper and the scrapbook paper that I put around the edges. I added just the snippet of, I love this lace. I think it was my last snippet of it I used right there. And then one of these uh, pearl beaded dangles, which I just think is so super cute. And then I added this metal piece right here. And then I had this in my stash that says wish. So I just tied that on. And I love the way it turned out. I just think it's so cute. So the only thing I really need to do now is add a, a hanger on the back. And then actually let it dry. <laughs> and then send it off to my swap partner. But I had so much fun creating it. It was so good to be back in the craft room, and I wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I finally hit 6,000. It seemed to take forever, but I'm very excited that uh, we finally got there. So thank you. Thank you all for subbing. I appreciate you all so much, and I'm hoping to have a lot more time to uh, create here coming up, so I can't wait to share with you. So thanks, everybody. I'll see you guys on the next one.